everyone, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. I thought I would do an update here on the AFOP, AFOP. And the other reason I'm doing this is because my dentist, uh, Dr. Levine, asked me if he knew of any uh, good stocks to, to invest in. And so I'm doing this uh, video also for Dr. Levine, too. So AFOP had the gap, and this was the one back here from the fourth. This is a damaging gap and the stock is lower and isn't going to get over the high of this gap. So this is actually a good swing or core short to invest your money in. And if you're a doctor, an attorney, or even a trader, this is a good solid trade to invest in because it is crazy weak. This is so weak that even with the market rallying like it did today, this stock can't get a breath to save its life. So the stock gap down here fell the second day through, had three red days in a row, trying to get over the high here. It triggered in a buy setup by three pennies, failed, gap down the next day, went green, not a big deal. Again, it's just resting from this huge bar that it had here. And then today really was the kicker. I mean, today actually is an entry to go short on this again. But really the entry was back here on the gap, but there's still time to get in this. The stop would really have to be over the high of the gap, though. Okay, so if you did not get in the day of the gap, for Dr. Levine or anybody else that wants to do this, the stop has to be over this area here. So you would get out of the trade if it went over this area. You would have to kill it, but I don't, it's not going to do that. This is really going to continue to go on to work. Uh, really, really, really nice weakness here. Even with the market rallying today, look at what this did. So this actually triggered on a second buy set up here that failed today. And there you have it. So the next target on this I mean ten dollars is it's going to ten dollars. But I really think that this gets I mean I think that this really is going to be around six dollars before the end of the year. I know that seems like a long way away, but that's how damaging the gap is. Unless it would gap up and correct the chart, which it's not doing. This gap actually here means this thing is done. I was having a conversation about this in the trading room today. Tom was saying every time I say something's done, he just he gets a high level of conviction. Because when I look at something and say, it's done, it really it's really done. Like it's done. What does that mean? It means it's can't recover. It's not going to recover. It's not going to recover anytime soon. So you play it. You play it in the direction of the gap, which is short, which is down. It's a bearish gap. This was a huge trade that day. Can't this can this is so weak that this cannot even rally with the market number one had a huge red bar the day of the gap hasn't even gotten back half the retracement it's not going to this this is a bad bad gap and a short entry okay what happened here was people bought this thing it was doing whatever it was doing gapped up here this is back in 2013 actually it wasn't even a year ago look it's May of 2013 actually no the first gap. Well, there was a little tiny gap back here in March. Then it gapped up again here in April. Then it gapped up again here in May. May, and really, this is where it got the lift off. And then this is the big push in July, where the stock literally ran from the first gap, if you played it around $7, up here to 24 bucks. Acted like a high flyer for about six, seven months there, where it had no let up, no give. And again, you could have played this to the long side. I mean, look at that. You would have, you could have really tripled your money if you'd played that right to the long side last year. But you'd be playing bullish gaps. It was a buy last year. It's not a buy anymore. It's a short. Okay, so it's a short. And I think, actually, this is the target here. Six fifty. Six fifty is a dream target. 725, 750. And, and this $9, $9, $8.90 target, I mean, this is so realistic, it's not even funny. I mean, this is going to $9 sooner rather than later. It's only three bucks away from that now. Great example of how you have to understand how to read trends correctly and when you can and when you do, you play it. The great thing about gaps is they're telling me what's happening with the trend. The gaps make the trend, they set the trend, they change the trend, they do it all. That's what's so great about them. And the beautiful thing about this AFOP gap is that it's there's really not going to be, this is, this is actually a solid, solid place to put the stop on this. 
a clean place to put a stop in a swing trade or core trade. And there is not always that, that type of uh, look to something where I have such a high conviction it's not going to get over the number. And you can tell here by the way it's traded for the last week, ever since the gap. It's going to break 11 soon, and then after that it just should fall off a cliff. So $10 is the next number, $9 is the next number, $7.25, and the dream target is $6.50, and I do think this gets down in the sixes before the end of the year. Uh, this was a high flyer that happened very quick and very fast, and now it's capitulated, and there's just no let up. So this is a short. This is an idea that's not a high, expensive price point stock. I mean, eleven, twelve dollars. This is a this is cheap to do a good solid trade that has a target like this. Okay, so the target's three dollars away, and at this price point, for something to move like that is really, really good. Okay, and you could actually get this down to six, and that would be phenomenal. And I I just don't think it's crazy because this thing is taking a beating now from that gap, and it's not going to let up. And remember, the one thing that, that that's so important to understand when the market's strong which the market is clearly clear to find its strength in the last week, back in the correct directional trend, which is up, which it never broke, by the way. When the market clearly has that defined, and everybody knows it, and everybody knows it now, so people that are in stuff that's not performing, like maybe it's AFOP, if they're in these positions, there were long AFOP, Say some people got a fop around six, seven. I mean, people bought it down in here. Some of these people aren't down yet. Okay, remember that these people are not down. They gave a heck of a lot back if they didn't get any out of any of this. But this is what created the selling the day of the scat. Okay, so when people are in stuff and it's not performing, if I was in this long and I had a good price in it, say I was in it at six or seven, I'd say this thing is a, it's a piece of crap. And you'd get out. And you'd be getting out with profit so that you wouldn't panic. But the panic will start to set in again here at some point. It's probably going to be under 10, actually. I think it's going to be under 10. I think it's going to be under $10. 10.25. Ten bucks. So this is a short, but in a strong market, what I was saying was people will have absolutely no hesitation with dumping stocks that they're long, that they don't want to be in because they're not performing. And they'll take their money, the money that they have, and they're going to put it in something else. Why leave your money in something that's not performing? If you're in something long, if you were in AFOP long, why would you want to be in this long anymore? You wouldn't. You would get out. I mean, you should have actually gotten out a long time ago. You should have actually gotten out before this gap. But if you didn't get out before this gap, if you had high hopes it was going to hold in here or something with the market, all those dreams were killed the day of the gap, and you got to be out. But not everybody is out. I'll tell you that. You can tell everybody's out. And some people are probably waiting for it to rally back. It's just not going to do it. I mean, it is not going to do it. So this really is where the stop has to be, and it's a nice trade down to 10, 9, 725, 650. Good short. So here you go. Dr. Levine, this is a nice, nice short. Not expensive. Solid, solid swing or core train to the downside in AFA. Okay, here it is. If you have any questions or if you'd like more information, email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. Thanks, everybody, and have a fantastic evening.